Okay, the diagram below shows the actual daily number of new cases of a disease. Ha uh ha. -huh. T0 to T25, actual cases and the model, fair enough. From the diagram, estimate the number of actual new cases there were on day 12. Ah. Okay. Okay, day 12, day 12. About, um, about a thousand. Oh, but using the relevant dot. So it's the dot they want you to use here. Mm. So that would be, so that's why that one's out of place. They're trying to trick you a little bit. Uh, 1500. According to the model, there were a thousand new cases on day 12. Yep, yeah, that's what I originally taught. Work out the percentage error. Oh, well, the difference between a thousand and a thousand five hundred is 50% error, right? Um, you know, 1500 minus a thousand over a thousand. Times 100 over 1 is 50%, isn't it? Um, yeah. Show that it takes approximately five days for the daily number of new cases to double according to the model, according to the curve. So, um, how are you supposed to show this? Um, So, okay, I mean, you can see that, I think, for example, uh, if you want to say something like, on day 15, uh, that's 1,500, and then on day 20, um, that's 3,000. Or another example, on day 20, um, that's 3,000. And on day 25, you can see that's 6,000. So you can see an extra five days always doubled. But I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure what they want you to write though. Hence, estimate on what day the number of new cases will be 100,000. Okay. So, day 25, that's, um, what's that now? That's um, 6,000, we're saying roughly. I know it's not exactly, but it looks roughly 6,000. Um, so, day 30 will be 12,000. Day 35 will be 24,000. Day 40 will be 48,000. Day 45 will be 90. Um, I see, maybe I'm not being accurate enough. Day 40, because it, it isn't really 6,000. So I wonder, am I going to be penalized for not being accurate enough reading my graph? That's 96,000. So about slightly after day 45 about day 46 maybe i should be yeah i wonder if they did that on purpose if i'm going to lose marks now for that they do keep saying estimate so they have to allow some slack Okay, the daily number of new cases can be modeled using that. Fill in the table. Okay, this I can do. Let's take out the calculator and go to table mode. Mm. 
I don't know if I'm going to get done by midnight. And zero to, to six ones. So, okay. 2100, 2478, 3450. Oh, what did they say about decimals? Whole nearest whole number, okay. 4071 and 4804 and 5669. Uh, draw the graph now, okay. Can I go to bed yet? Okay, I'll pop it over here, covering that one up. All right, 2100, be about there. 2478, right, it would be a bit lower. 2478 be about there. 29 would be about there. 34 would be about there. 4071 would be about there. 48 would be about there. 5669 would be about there. And it's curving up. Okay. Measures are put in place to slow down the spread of the disease. And we have this formula here. On T is 14. There are 21,000 cases according to this model. Use your work to calculate the A. Give your answer in that form scientific notation okay so we have a times 0 0.83 power of 14 equals 21309 so by dividing by that power guy i can get the a the a would be 289380 okay one Two, three, four, five. Two point eight nine times ten power five. How many decimal places? And B is correct. Two decimal places, as I thought. Question ten.